There are so many how-tos in sports. How to swing a bat, how to catch a pass, how to putt, how to kick. With New Balance, there's only one way to run, your way. That's the best way and the only way. No need to look at him or her or them to figure it out. Just run. On a track, a path, a street, or in a mall. Your choice. Running doesn't care where you're from or where you're headed. Running will take you exactly as you are. New Balance. Run your way. You guys know that I love Hallmark Christmas movies. I love that they're predictable. I love the fake snow. And I love the happy endings. Because here's the thing. I love hope. True, tangible, family reuniting, opportunity creating hope. And that is why I love our friends at Thistle Farms. They're in the business of changing lives and creating new beginnings. Kind of like... Hallmark Christmas movies, but in real life. Thistle Farms is a nonprofit social enterprise that creates hope for women survivors of trafficking, prostitution, and addiction by hosting two free years of housing, trauma therapy, and health care. This way, women have a safe space to heal from years of abuse and addiction, and they're employed so that they can earn fair wages and safely provide for themselves and their families. While in the Thistle Farms, and once they graduate, they get to work making candles, body and spa products, and gift sets. And they actually, uh, this is the perfect time to start supporting Thistle Farms if you don't already, because it is the gift-giving season, my friends. And what better gift than one that benefits both the person you're giving it to and the person that made the thing that you're giving I have tried Thistle Farms. Their product is fantastic. I love their soaps. It smells so good. And then you get in the box a thing that tells you about the person that made it. It's so fantastic. So please, everybody listening to this, go to thistlefarms.com to start shopping candles, gift set essential oils, and even their global leather goods. They have it all. And it all supports the life change for women survivors. So go to Thistle Farms and enter the code deck the hallmark all one word at checkout to receive 50% off your purchase. That's thistlefarms.org promo code deck the hallmark. You're going to love their products. Check it out. Here's the show. Hi, I'm Brandon. I love Netflix Christmas movies. I'm Dan and I despise Netflix Christmas movies. Hi, I'm Jax, and I'm having a blast with Netflix Christmas movies. I'm Alonzo, and uh, sure, Netflix Christmas movies, why not? And this is is the Deck the Hallmark Hallmark Podcast! Deck the Hallmark, it's this podcast. (laughs) Brandon and friends host this podcast. (laughs) We hope you like this jolly podcast. (laughs) Remember when we had somebody that would fly Jax down every oh, week? Oh, Ted was such a <laughs> Ted guy. was clutch. Man, now now Jax is on delay over here. She's on delay. She's overseas well, somewhere. Yeah. It's, it's unfortunate because not only is Ted not flying me in right now, he's no longer paying for my high-speed internet bill. Wow. Oh, no. Mm. I hate that. Let's play a game, Jax. I'm going to count down three, two, one, and then we're going to clap together, and we'll just kind of see uh, which... You want to uh, go from uh, six yeah. or from three? We'll go from, uh, <laughs> we'll go from four. Four, three, two, one. <laughs> wow okay <laughs> so Jax, by and large whenever you uh want to talk just go just, immediately yeah, just guess yeah, interrupt to, yeah, yeah. <laughs> guess when we're finishing and jump in yeah gosh that's gonna be that's gonna be really great um yeah. alonzo how's uh california treating you uh it's dandy it is uh it is finally cooling down a bit and so you know Obviously, California winter is most places like late summer, but you know, nonetheless, like I, I, I can wear a hoodie now. It's, it's, it's lovely, and the the Christmas decorations are coming out. You should see the rest of this table. Dave is is digging out the candles and the Santas and the ceramic trees and all kinds of stuff. Fantastic! Mm. And it's Thanksgiving week. We're all excited yeah. about that. It's uh, the week um, ahead. The weekend ahead is uh, very daunting. Um, but um, yes. I, I think we 
we're as prepared as we can be. As, this is as our we fifth, can be. fifth season. Yeah. We, we've got it. We've got it under a, lock. A little and bit key. more. We got it down to a science a little bit more. That yeah. first year, we recorded seven on the Sunday after Thanksgiving, <laughs> and we were stupid. And then the next year, I think we did six or five, and then we've got it to where we only have to do four on that Sunday now. Mm-hmm. So we're doing it. <laughs> Here's where like my letterbox keeping up with the season completely falls apart. Yeah. And I will just be like playing catch up until, you know, mid January. Oh no. I, that's the dude, the letterbox for me, I have to, after every, the last movie of every weekend, I do it immediately or I'll forget about it. But Thanksgiving week, I do it real time. So as soon as I see a movie, I pop it in there somewhere. I, I, I don't, I feel like I need more of a science for letterbox. Cause I really, I add it to the list and then I just kind of drag it until it feels right. Yeah. Do you have a number in your mind before so you do it? Head, like I'm literally just dragging. I'm like, mm, so yes. you can put a number there. So in my head, I go, this. I feel like this was around ten or eleven. So I'll put eleven in there, and then I'll look at the list, and I'll go, I'll look at the one or two above it, and go, is this better than that? And the one or two below it, and then I'll kind of move it in that range. That feels like more of a science, and then yeah. <laughs> feeling it out. Yeah, I'm with Brad. I just kind of hover, like mm, yeah, yeah, mm, yeah. I literally just go up the list, and I go, yeah, right there. Right there's yeah. good. <laughs> I just think there's four or five this year for Hallmark has raised the bar this year, and I think there are four or five that are cl- just far and away better. We're gonna we're gonna go on national TV this year, and Dan's gonna be singing the praises of Hallmark, it's and gonna Hallmark's be awesome not for, gonna know what to do with it. It's gonna themselves. be awesome for our brand. It's gonna be great for our brand, uh, <laughs> which is good. And we've always done what's best for our brand. That's exactly right. <laughs> All oh, right, are you ready, Jacks? Four, three, two, one. <laughs> <laughs> that no. can't be real. No. That can't be real. Seriously? You're exaggerating. Oh, this man. is a bit. She's doing a bit. No, no. What's funny? No, I wish I was doing a bit. What's funny is that I, if I would have thought faster, I would have clapped when you said four. Oh, that's yeah. oh, oh, oh yeah. Let's okay. try that. Before you do that, it's bad enough you're on okay, a delay, but you're also in a cavern, I believe. <laughs> so what? <laughs> What like did we did did Ted put you in a hole and leave you there like the girl from the ring? What is happening down there? <laughs> there is it's you're on an eight second delay with an echo, Jax. What's going on? He's upset because I said we're not going to spend the holidays together. Yeah, clearly it didn't go well. Clearly, yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right, you ready? Four, three, two, one. Whoa! Hey. That is science. You know what's wild? You and I are on a delay. <laughs> We've yet to clap together. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that's, uh, that's the eggnog kicking in, that boys. Is. That's uh, right. All right. Um, or what are we talking about today? What's the name of this? Christmas movie? with you. Christmas with you is... Uh, <laughs> the, so far, Netflix uh, Chris, uh, Christmas movies have been as generically titled as possible falling for christmas and christmas with you is what we've had so far which well, is falling for christmas she does fall that's off true a mountain, that's know. true christmas with you that's the name of the song i believe it's christmas without you is the name of the song okay I, w- which is weird that it's christmas <laughs> with you is the title i don't look nah yeah who knows uh well let's talk about it i can't Uh, live with or without you yeah that's exactly right uh it originally dropped on the netflix on november 17th 2022 and it went a little something like this uh angelina is a a pop star that has some real good bops i'm assuming uh she's been around for a hot minute she's also a perfectionist and seems to be loving life uh as she's trying to keep up with all the latest trends and by loving life i mean she's completely overwhelmed tick tock tick who (laughs) Uh, her agent gets a call from the label that is like, hey, we need Angelina to record a Christmas song. The agent is like, yeah, that's not going to happen. She's busy writing new hits. And the label's like, well, we need we need it. And she's like, okay, we'll get you those songs ASAP. Um, cut to a young girl named Christina who is just a Angelina super fan. Her dad, Miguel, isn't a fan, but he's supportive of his daughter, plays guitar for her as she sings a cover of an Angelina song to post on the gram, as the kids call it. Uh, She is hoping Angelina will see the video and come to her. Are you ready for it, everybody? Her quinceanera. Wow. 
It was okay. Someone's practiced. Uh, I didn't sleep well last night, everybody. <laughs> you know, they, in this movie, they shortened it to Kinse, which just means 15. I did you see that. You can just yeah. say Kinse. But I, I, wanna, I, I don't, I don't want to be offensive. I feel I like, look, have you heard yourself it, say Kinsinier? <laughs> Like yeah. Can I shorten it? Evils, can yeah. I can I shorten it? Kinsey? Keen, Keen, what? No, Keen you says. cannot. Kinsey. Kinsey. So just think of the word K E E N and then S A Y. Kinsey. This isn't going to go well. Uh, Angelina gets bad news from the label. She's yesterday's news. They have a hot new thing that they want to be front and center. So Angelina leaves town and is like, I got to get out of this city. And she's like, you know what? I'm going to go to that Kinsey. Kinsey. Good God. I want to go to the, I want to go to the Kinsey era. Uh, Christina and her dad get uh, called to the principal's office. You just sound like that SNL skit. The super fans like the Bears are saying, <laughs> "It's like the Bears and the Quinceanera." Just guys, give me. Let me just try. Can I? Um, they get called to the principal's office at the school that she goes to and he works at. They uh, show up and Angelina is waiting for them. She takes selfies and goes like, "Go, uh, all right, great to see everybody, but the snow's picked up. So they agree to come over to their house. Uh, Miguel's going to cook dinner. Uh, they're having a good time and she goes over to uh, Miguel's piano, starts playing this song that he has been working on. Like, you know, he has the notes written down and whatnot. And she's like, um, this is good. Can I help you make it better? I am a professional pop star. He's like, what do you mean that it's good? I What? And she's like, this is really good. Also, I need a Christmas song. Can I have it? Uh, you'll get some royalties and I'll get my song. We can work on this together. And he's like, I, I mean, I guess so. Um, this leads to a lot of hanging out, dancing at quinceanera practice <laughs> and working on music. Uh, they're stumped on the chorus, so he takes her to this dope Christmas spot. She suddenly says, quote, I've tried to keep this love inside. And he's like, come again about me? And she's like, oh, no, it's lyrics for the song. And he's like, duh. Uh, they stay up late working on the song, perfecting it. They fall asleep together on the couch. The next morning, uh, her boyfriend, are they actually dating? They're, it's a fake relationship. It's a fake like, relationship. They have broken up, but they're keeping it together yeah. for the numbers. Uh, you got to do you gotta do what you can do for, for the, the numbers. Grams, for the uh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Uh, it's like Dan and I. Yeah, we just we haven't liked each other in forever. And forever. Oh my god! Um, so that's why we're on delay. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> we're actually not in the same it's room. A split screen. It's like a parent trap. Lindsay Lohan callback. That's situation. right. Ready to end? Four, two, three, three, two, two one. That's <laughs> nothing we can do. <laughs> uh, so the boyfriend uh, fi uh, tracked her down and shows up at the house and is like, hey, this place is a dump. I'm here to rescue you. Uh, she reluctantly leaves with him to go back to New York C City. Uh, <laughs> it's, it's the night of the big gala, and she's going to be performing the new Christmas song. And uh, just because she's gone doesn't mean that Miguel and Christina aren't going to come to that gala. You better believe they are. They get picked up. They get all fancy. And when Angelina say, sees Miguel in the tux, she's like, hubba, hubba, hubba. Uh, she gets on stage, and before she starts playing the new song, she invites Miguel up to perform it with her, and they crush it. Uh, afterwards, uh, she gives him the biggest hug. And uh, they get interrupted by her agent telling her that she's going to sing the song on SNL. The SNL. The Saturday night one. Uh, so she runs to go find him to be like, hey, we're going to do this song on SNL. I want you to play. And he's like, uh, I got the quinceanera. She's like, oh, right. Well, uh, we got to record the song and then we're going to go on tour. And he's like, whoa, whoa, whoa. Was this all about the song for you? Because it wasn't for me. And she's like, yeah, it was all about the song. And he's like, well, it was all about you for me. It's always been you. And he leaves. 
Uh, she walks sad around Times Square, as you do. Um, and then her and the boyfriend officially uh, uh, br- break up. And she decides not to do SNL, to give it to the young up-and-comer. And she goes back to the small town, and she sings and dance at the Quinceanera. And then she goes over to Miguel, and they kiss. And the song is the smash number one hit on the holiday charts. And they spin and Christmas together, and that, my friends, was Christmas, Christmas with you. you. Take it, Jax. Woo. Nailed it. <laughs> we did it. Christmas with <laughs> you. <laughs> We're going to take a quick break, and we'll be right back here on Deck the Hall. <laughs> when I say skylight, you say frame. Skylight. I'm going to assume that you said it because you should have. By now, you know how much I love Skylight Frame, the picture frame that you can upload pictures to that rotate and scroll. You can keep your picture frame updated. This is the perfect gift, everybody. You know this by now. I've given one to my parents. They love it. I bring my kids over there. They love scrolling through the picture frame to see pictures of themselves that we've uploaded through the app. It is so easy. It's especially easy to set up. It only takes 60 seconds. You connect that bad boy to your wireless internet. You can start uploading pictures immediately. You can use the app or you can uh, send them to an email address that you get. And when you set up the the, the frame, it's super easy. Skylight frame, it's a vibrant touchscreen display that lets you swipe through the photos. Even tap to heart to let the person that's Sent it, know that you love it. And there's two sizes now a 10 incher or a 15 incher. 100% satisfaction guarantee. I gave one to my mom last year. She still has it proudly put up in her living room. We saw it just the other day. It's beautiful. Here's the thing you can have a special offer $15 off your purchase of a Skylight Frame. When you go to skylightframe.com and enter the code Hallmark, that is uh, $15 off your purchase of Skylight Frame. When you go to skylightframe.com and enter the code Hallmark, that is S K Y L I G H T F R A M E.com. Promo code Hallmark. Get your Christmas shopping done right now. We are back. Hi, everyone. Brand, I will say we've been doing uh, delay bits for a long time, you and mm-hmm. I. We think they're really funny. Yeah. The only thing funnier than a delay bit is, is an r- actual delay bit. Yeah. Like, that's better. That's funnier to me. <laughs> I, I'm so happy that we, ha- we have this opportunity. Yeah. I'm just letting you know. Thanks, Jax, for being a good sport. If you He's think... If, to the bit. If yeah. you cool. think that... Um, uh, 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 being on delay on uh, the news got old over COVID. You are wrong. It was awesome every time. Yes, it was always yes. good. Yep. It was always we good. We love it. We love it. Uh, mm. Let's break this movie down. Let's start with the hot take. And Jax, I'm getting ready to go to you. So just get ready. We're going to start with Jax with the hot take I on think it's the hot take. <laughs> oh, I was prepping. Sorry. Go ahead. You go. You go. <laughs> Um, I have a couple things that I'll get into for my weight web, but overall, I was really delighted and charmed by this movie. I thought that Amy Garcia and Freddie Prince Jr. had really great chemistry. I really liked the whole Angelina Christina bonding over their moms who had passed away. I thought the character of Cherry was really fun, and I actually wanted to see more between her and Angelina. So, yeah, I thought this was fun, some fun bops. Amy Garcia had an incredible wardrobe and she looked so gorgeous in all of it. So I had a good time with this one. Um, as someone who recently watched Marry Me, Marry Me, Say Yes, um, I kept watching this movie and just being like, I wish I was watching Marry Me because I really <laughs> liked Marry Me. Uh, this one is similar, except they're not married um, and they're not doing like a, I don't know. It's not really so like that. Aside. Like that no, it's really. not. No. But for some reason, I just kind of kept thinking about it. Um, but uh, yeah, I thought that this one was fine. I, I, I had a good time. I have maybe the most white what's I've ever had for a movie wow. in five years years of doing this uh, just a boatload um which is usually a sign of a movie that i quite enjoyed so uh yeah i had a fun time with it uh a, a good job the songs maybe i didn't love as much but nah, that's okay alonzo 
Yeah, in the preview episode, we talked about how this movie seemed to be borrowing a lot from from Marry Me, and by the end of it, it was like, oh, and also, just in, from in the last few weeks, All Saints Christmas, and you know, in Merry Measure, and all of these other, you know, yeah. and even the Lohan uh, uh, falling for Christmas. Like, okay, so we we got the we got the the the, the little girl, uh, you know, whose whose dad is a widow, uh, a widower, and and the the new lady bonding over dead moms at Christmas. We've got the you know the, the 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 music industry obsessed with the social media and the TikTok and the the young people and the 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 more established artists are trying to figure that out. You've got the oh I can't be at thing A because I've got career thing B to go do. Uh, it, so yeah, I agree with Jackson that the two leads are charming and they work well together but this feels like just such a hodgepodge of not even just like stuff that came out this year but just tropes we've seen a lot in holiday movies Mm -hmm. yeah so last week with falling for christmas i just was shocked and heard from a lot of people and how many people love falling for christmas when i felt like it was just like just a regurgitation of so many christmas tropes to the point that it was almost satire and i just didn't like the movie at all this You're one, not alone in that, though. Okay. I did also hear from multiple people that said, what movie did you watch? Because we I, must I just, I didn't like it at all. This movie's very innocuous to me. Like, I'm not going to ever be like, you got to go watch Christmas with you. But in comparison to all the ones you mentioned, I found this charming. Um, so, hmm. like, in comparison to In Merry Measure or to, to Falling for Christmas, I, I found what the two leads are doing charming. Big Amy Garcia fan. She's great in Lucifer. She's really fun in this. Uh, Freddie Prinz is as Freddie Prinz as he's ever been, and he's very comfortable. <laughs> being, and I'm not saying that to be me. Like, he hasn't acted in a long time. He's here. He's, like, he's doing a shtick. He's doing, like, a, a, a performance. They make him, like... I was shocked to find out that these two leads are very close to the same age. They make him look like he's been a dad who's been teaching school for a long time, and she's been a pop star who needs to keep up her image for a long time. And so I appreciated some of the detail there. I thought that those two were good together, and the the kid was really good. So, yeah. I, you I, like this more than in a merry measure? Oh, for sure. You're drunk. Go no, home. in in merry measure was actively annoying to me. Um, wow. And this movie I found to be like, it, yeah, just not- to go to go throughout your days on a regular basis and be so wrong. <laughs> it's astounding to me that you are still here. I don't know. Us. I'm not saying it's going to win any awards. I'm just saying like it was uh, it was inoffensive. Like it wasn't like I wasn't like man, this is terrible. I got to turn it off. So there's that. Quick, quick quick question of the what's new pussycat category. Does anyone in this room know who Freddie Prince Jr.'s father was? Man, I used Freddie to. Prince Sr. Nailed it. <laughs> well, yes, clearly. But like, I remember uh, hearing about this years and years ago, and I've forgotten, and I'm really sorry. He was hugely influential. Busby uh, Berkeley. Latino stand-up comedy, <laughs> starred in a hit sitcom called Chico and the Man, died tragically just before Freddie Jr. was born. Oh, no. Wow. Uh, but was like a major like pop culture presence in the 1970s. Wow. wow. There you have it. Thank you. Yeah. What's new, Pussycat? Um, exactly. let's, uh, let's talk about the feels. Jax, did you have any feels in this one? Yeah, yeah. I, I got lots of feels for this one. Um, I think definitely the scene when Christina and Angelina are in her room and they're talking about their moms gave me some feels. Uh, the scene that you referred to in the synopsis that made me laugh the way you talked about it, Brand, very well done when you were talking about how they're they're talking about the lyrics and she gets the lyric and there's an almost kiss. I just thought the way Freddie Prince Jr. reacted to that, he was laughing, it was funny, it was romantic. And for me, there's nothing more romantic or makes me more attracted to someone than bonding over shared passion. So I really, I think that's better than kissing, frankly, um, better than kissing big ones. So I loved that. And I really was touched by the way that Cherry and Angelina connected at the end and about Cherry's enthusiasm for her idol. So those things were giving me all the feels. 
Um, I got feels um, when uh, she, Angelina, uh, at the beginning of the movie was having a tough time and she went on the, the internet, which I would not advise when you're having a tough time, but she, lo- <laughs> she looked up uh, covers of, uh, of, of her song and found hers and like was tearing up, being moved by that. I thought it was really sweet. And um, I'm always thankful when like on a much smaller scale, we get a wonderful kind feedback and um, stuff like that. And so it always means so much. And so I, I, you know, I, I don't know if there are actual pop stars that are going out there and that are just watching covers of their songs in the net, but I like to think that they are. On the net. On the, on the, on net. the net. They're not watching it on the net. I can promise you They're that. They're watching right. it on the net. <laughs> on the net. Surfing on the world, that world, on, world, on, on the world. <laughs> that's, that's exactly right. I like to think that they are. They're using Prodigy, or is it like AOL? <laughs> or is they're, it, they're, uh, getting, I don't, they're on whatever Jax is on. Yeah, that's today. right. Whatever is responsible for Jax is going Action. That's exactly. what they're on. Yes, exactly right. Uh, Alonso, any feels Jeeves. for you? Jeeves, Jeeves is responsible. Jeeves, uh, yes. That uh, makes there sense. we go. Uh, I really liked Zenzi Williams as Monique. I think that that's a character mm-hmm. that so often becomes like the sort of like sounding board, whatever. But she actually was genuinely funny and I think you know gives that character like a reason for being there rather than just sort of hanging around and waiting for you know the startup to say things to her um I kind of liked the opening montage where you see that Angelique is like popular and you know has all these demands on her time but at the same time is like really lonely like the way that you know the, the the empty theater like the way that like she'll be mobbed for autographs but then she gets in the car by herself like I, I thought that was a nice sort of wordless setup for who this character is and, and what that was about so that was kind of cool um the 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 christmas tree walkthrough was nice even though it has some green screeny moments that are a little <laughs> dodgy i thought it was it was beautifully put together and i at least liked the intention of it and i have to say I really loved her sort of turning and seeing him enter in the tuxedo yeah. because how many of these movies have we seen where the prince looks up the staircase right. and there's yeah. the nanny in a game. Yeah. <laughs> you said it, pal. You absolutely The said object it. of the gauzy camera. I'm like, okay, that's a nice, that's, that's the one thing in this movie that feels like you're, you're aggressively flipping something that we've seen a bunch before. 100% everything you just said. Uh, Dan? I liked the fact that they had an opportunity to, like, make this, like, this weird rivalry where they pit these two women against each other, and instead they just became, yeah. like, friends. I thought that was really, mm. really good. Could have been an easy, like, the new young pop star is, like, the new thing, you're the old thing, and she doesn't like you, and it's territorial, and it's... And then, like, it turns out that, like they can learn from each other. And I like, it would have been unnecessary to do it any other way. There's plenty of, uh, of, of hurdles to jump through from a crisis standpoint. So I appreciated that there was this like mentor mentee aspect there instead of, uh, uh instead of a villain. Aspect. All about Eve. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. It's the reverse yeah. of that for sure. Yeah. Uh, let's take a quick break. We'll come back with the, uh, way, what and the, what the flicks here on deck, the hallmark. Welcome back, everybody. Get that ghost out of here. That, that ghost is, is ghost. aggressive, it's but also gives me tingles, and I kind of like it. <laughs> uh, let's talk about Christmas with you. Let's talk about those wait what's, and let's start with you, Jax. What had you waiting, and what, and while you're watching this one? So I understand that some celebrities are as private as they can be about their personal life. But I found it extremely unbelievable that Christina wouldn't have known that Angelina's mom had passed away. Um, Maybe she wouldn't have seen that photo of them because that was a photo that hadn't been shared but she acted like she was surprised to know that her mom had passed a few years ago and as someone who is a super fan myself i do a deep dive on the people that i am enamored of so yeah, i didn't buy that you would 100 um, percent see like if she just looked up a wiki page you would see this information there's no way she wouldn't know that for sure yeah and i thought it was a, a fun opportunity for her to even like say that she knew or like even have a, it, it could have been a funny line about like something about her being such a fan of hers or even just a moment of um, connection. And like, well, that's another reason why I look up to you because I lost my mom too, but the, I just thought that was weird. And then the other big wait, what for me was after Angelina brought Miguel up on stage and they had this great performance. We know that she's been asked 
to do SNL, but, and that is planning on doing that. But as I understand it, Christina doesn't know yet. And the fact that she was so ticked off when she was with Monique at the end and like going off to the car and kind of giving side eye, I, that didn't make sense to me at all. Even if she didn't like the way Angelina reacted to something like this pop star is not your best friend yet. Like maybe you are connected to her, but I think to be shading her so much, it d- also didn't land with me or make any sense whatsoever. Fair enough. Fair yeah, enough. Fair. Um, I have a few. Um, I, it's, he goes up there uh, to his daughter's room. He has his guitar in hand and she's like, dad, will you accompany me uh, as I sing this song? This and he's is- like, no, 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 I don't want it. Why'd you have the guitar? Why'd you bring the guitar yeah. upstairs with you <laughs> if you had no intention of playing the guitar for your daughter's That's right. video? I just I carried it around the house. <laughs> I always carry it around. Not play it for you. But this is actually this is a, for me. No, it's a it's private a, it's thing. A me situation, <laughs> it's a private yes. thing for me. There is a song in this movie that says, "All my dogs say wow 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 wow. All my kitties say meow 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 meow." And I just want to give a shout out to whoever wrote that song. Isn't it bow wow wow wow? Fantastic. Song, wow 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 wow. Right. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> No, uh, fantastic though. I loved it. Uh, she has a photo of her crush in a picture frame yeah. <laughs> with a frame that says friends. Yeah. She got as that, if, uh, as she if got she, that, she printed it off the net as it. Yeah. Yeah. As if she wants uh, to have a photo printed of her crush, but doesn't want yeah. her dad to be wise to her. Right. It's just a friend. It's friends. It says it, it says on the it on frame. The it doesn't look so frame. frame wouldn't lie. To this you. is completely different. <laughs> um, her, uh, f- fake boyfriend's commitment to live streaming himself walking into recording studios yeah. should be outlawed. <laughs> you shouldn't be able to do that. You, you can't just walk into recording studio rooms, live streaming and being like, we're live, baby. Anything could happen. Anything could happen. Anything could be going on in there. I would say don't re- go, don't walk into any room live streaming that you haven't already pre-checked, but especially a recording studio. Yeah. Can I just say that in Christmas movies right now, like Instagram live is the new macrobiotic diet. Like yeah. it's the thing that you know <laughs> that this person is the worst yeah. and, and it's, it's meant to signal to the audience that they're like vapid and terrible. Yes. <laughs> uh, which at least that's more accurate than the, than the diet. Thing. <laughs> I think we could all agree on yeah. that. Um, she, she comes, sits down at the piano, starts playing the song. She sings it a little bit. And then she's like, what if we change the melody to this? And I'm 99% sure she did not change the melody no, in the, the same. least. Same melody, but it sounded great. I loved it. Um, she goes to the the uh, dance practice, and the, the kids are having a hard time with the dance number. And she says, I know what's happening. The time signature change after the intro is tripping you up. There's a time signature change right after the intro. So we're gonna go four four in the intro <laughs> six seven. <laughs> what is this song? What is this song? Five, that says, six, we will. Seven, we'll, eight, we nine, will. Nine, ten, Angelina is a legend. You got. Listen, we all lo- we all love a good time change, but let's give it. I don't know more than just the intro yeah. before we change it up. Man. That would uh, mix anybody up. I did love her putting a blanket. Like he falls asleep with the guitar, but she's like, "How do I be sweet here?" The guitar here's, is glued to his hand. Here's a, here's a, a blanket over top of the, the guitar. guitar. That's right. It might get cold. That's yeah. right. It's Right. Um, and last but not least for me, if there's one thing that I know about Lorne Michaels of SNL, yes. it's that he loves when musical guests flip flop back and forth <laughs> right before right. Uh, yeah. uh, SNL. Yeah, it's yeah, it's yeah. his favorite thing. He's never sticking to the plan. No, That's no. what Lorne Michaels is known for. He's so like, do whatever like, you want to. We have a lot we could say about Saturday Night Live, yeah. but the one thing we know for sure is it's a fly by night fly operation by night. that has not we'll lasted a live. long time. Whoever and wants to show up to sing can right. sing. It's no organization. Like we've got these 10 skits. Here's just do whatever you want got ad lib like yeah. can you imagine the host of the show who's like a celebrity who's like ladies and gentlemen someone let's find out <laughs> <laughs> let's find out who we got we well, got a great show for you tonight <laughs> and it's their Christmas special, which That's right. any SNL Christmas special is just a collection of old clips. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, that's, uh, that's brutal. Dan? 
Um, mm. Me, right past Alonzo. Oh, I'm so used to it. I'm so yeah. sorry. Alonzo? No worries. Well, okay. First of all, this is not how magazine cover shoots work. <laughs> <laughs> Angelina is not going to show up for, for this thing and be in an outfit and getting styled and then suddenly be have have them announce, oh, no, no, not you. New girl's getting the cover. Beat it. Beat it, you grandma. <laughs> see, no one cares it. anymore. <laughs> like that just, mm, not, not how that happens at all. Okay. So. Uh, our our young heroine has two aunts named Connie and Concha, and I would argue that those are both variations of the same name. Uh, my mother's best friend when I was growing up was a woman named Conchita, and her actual name was Constantia, which is like Constance, basically. Yeah. So Constance is what Concha is short for, and it's also what Connie is short for. So I want to know if they have the same name, yeah. if there's some other C-O-N name floating around that I don't know about. Maybe that's on me, but I just was like, for sisters, that seemed like a, an odd choice. Um Oi with the tamales already. It's always tamales in these movies. Whenever <laughs> it's a Hispanic family, that's the thing they trot out to like have the, that's the group effort for everybody. And which then led me down a rabbit hole of a, what, a specific ethnicity are these folks because like Amy Garcia is like her, her uh, mom is Puerto Rican and her dad's Mexican or vice versa. And Freddie Prince Jr.'s uh, dad was Puerto Rican, but his mom's Italian. I'm like, is this just, are we just all Mexican in these movies? <laughs> That's is right. that how this works? I, you know, it's very, it's very vague. And I, and I also want to add, this is a thing that Netflix does a lot and Hulu does it. And a lot of folks, I want to call it out. If you're going to have titles for the hearing impaired or for people who just can't understand all the mumbling and the bad sound mix, you do not get to have every single English lyric and then go singing in Spanish. It's like, no, that, I need to know. A lot of viewers speak Spanish. I would like to know. Even speaking in Spanish in conversations, like, mm -mm, no, wow. let's stop this right now. If you're going to subtitle it, subtitle everything. And I'm just, I wanted to just share that with the world. Amen to that, then, of buddy. course. The uh, the how many days are Angelina and Monique in those clothes before they finally get a change of wardrobe? Because it seems like it's quite a bit of time has passed, and they're still in those. Like Monique is still in that crazy sweatsuit, and and Angel Angel Angelique is in that like you know thing that she can't breathe in, and she's having to like eat and move around in it. So that was crazy. Uh, and then of course, finally, you know, for zero rehearsal, Freddie Prince Jr. gets up there and kills it on the piano. Yeah, time. he does. Kills it from the crowd. Well, what's tough him too him is the time. <laughs> signature change yeah <laughs> it gets you every time from the intro from the intro <laughs> yeah um, actually there was a weird change there but it's either here or there i i do love that you pointed out he carried his guitar up there and wouldn't play for her the thing that stuck out to me about that scene is is dad i've i i want to sing this song that reminds me of my dead mother and your dead wife can you play guitar for me no <laughs> The answer is a hard no. I love you, but you got to make your own way in this life. I am not going to stand off screen and play my acoustic guitar for you. That I brought daughter, upstairs. That I brought upstairs. I won't do it. No. Pasadena. No. Yeah. Lo love only goes so far. I yeah. can't possibly. I know um, I walked into your room with my guitar without right, you asking. That's right. But, but this listen. song as a tribute to your your mother? Absolutely not. I won't have my name attached to this. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Not on your life, lady. Uh, that was wild yeah. to me. I Did also you? love though that after that she does like this like a heartfelt speech that somehow he was surprised by like when he yes. saw it he was like where did he wow. go where he left <laughs> he somehow. kept on playing the song he's yeah. like I got to get out of this room. I can't room. believe she taught me to play in a guitar as a tribute to her mom. <laughs> Ah, I'm ah, such a pushover. I'm, I'm out of here. Um, Throws his guitar, crashes it. You know, I appreciate uh, Netflix, you know, writing <laughs> their own music for this, but I don't need to hear the entire song. Like, oh gosh, maybe, damn. maybe it's that I've watched Hallmark movies and I'm used to like one verse, a chorus, a maybe a bridge. But we got the entire song at the end of this. And I was like, oh, I think we get what's happening here. I did not need the entire song for this to, to resonate with me. And then two just softballs that I have to point out because it's my job to point them out. One is, once again, we've got a Christmas hit coming out five days before Christmas. <laughs> They try to make it better with, well, even with the time left, it could be a hit. No, it could not. That's not how that works. <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, and then 
lastly, maybe if she's saying it on SNL, but no, yeah, right. maybe if she got it on SNL, yeah, yeah, then you can do Spotify <laughs> downloads overnight, yeah, um, and then. And I like I hate to point this out, but there are music teachers around the country watching this movie that do something. And so I, I can't like let it go when you have someone that says they're a music teacher and they virtually never, ever have to teach music. Like they're always free to roam the halls of the high school, to go to the principal's office with their daughter, to make tamales, to go to the, these galas. They don't have to plan or teach or anything. They're music teachers. It doesn't matter. And so that was, that was something. Well, the nice well. thing though, is that schools, like they usually don't have like Christmas programs. No, 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 no. Anything a, like a music that. Teacher. <laughs> it's actually the easiest yeah. time of the year for the music department. Yeah, a music teacher around <laughs> Christmas time isn't busy at all. Nothing going on there for sure. <laughs> That's all I got. Uh, it's time for What the Flicks. It's part of the show. We wonder what could have been. Maybe have them get some clarity questions that we still have. Jax, what are you still wondering about? I'm still wondering about um, what is going to be going on with Angelina and Cherry's manager that like loves to pit them against each other. I think they should fire him and hire someone else and maybe go on tour together. Yeah, wow. maybe. Yeah, maybe. no, that guy should be fired for sure. Like, no doubt about it. Um, yeah. well, I think he's the label I, guy. I, I, but I still awful. Yeah, I. You know the type. You know the type who they love to talk about how catty women are when they're the ones like fanning the flames and stoking the fire, whatever sort of metaphors make sense here. And I can't stand it. And I see it all the time and I won't have it. Yeah. Dan. Yeah. Dan. <laughs> what do you mean? Dan? Uh, you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. Uh, guys, I pulled a Brian Harold here. I did a screenshot uh, of something in this of the movie. Chart? <laughs> yes. I All right. almost did it. So, uh, guys, did. I want to break this down real quick because the whole point of this single is like maybe our Christmas song will be like the next Mariah, right? Yeah. So you would think in the top 10 holiday charts – there would be, you know, some of the standards, like yes. a Mariah. Yeah. No, we have 10 original songs on Man. the holiday top 100. <laughs> Number 10, Holiday uh, Holly and Glitter by Hobo Cart Bunnies. Mm. Uh, number nine, Holiday Jam, The Dance Mix by Clunk of Nuts. <laughs> number eight, <laughs> it's Xmas in the Hood by Lil Snaz Leopard. Lil Snaz Leopard. Number seven, The Glory of Christmas by the Acapella Teen Choir based out of NYC. Number six, Home for the Holidays. Okay. Uh, by Vuja Day and DJ Zowie. Number five, because representation matters, Spin Dat Dreidel by the Funky Berkowitz. Number four, Hip Hop Round the Tree by Jojo Bear featuring Cranky Mama. Number three, Jolly Wally Holiday by Sneaky Lips. Number two, Yo It's Christmas, two exclamation points by the Hip Hop Xmas All-Stars. And number one, Christmas Without You by Angelina Costa and Miguel Torres. And and there's your top 10 uh, oh, holiday man. songs. It's kick rock serving Berlin. So it's, by, yeah, that's right. It's so weird they would use nine fake artists and clunk a nuts. <laughs> <laughs> that's exactly right. So by, by what the flicks is, I got to hear those songs. Yes. Got to hear those songs. My list. Exactly, I can't believe they got the hip hop uh, uh, Xmas all stars back all together. Back together as a reunion yeah. for yeah, sure. Amazing. Yeah. Amazing. Uh, Alonzo. <laughs> <laughs> um, you know, I, I do wonder what is the process by which like crazily famous people who can't walk down the street without getting mobbed segue back into normal life, you know, like, and so I, I'm just wondering, is there any version of her life where she moves in with them in Jersey and it's like chill, or if it has to be that they're just going to get swept up in her craziness. I always kind of wonder about that one. The other thing is, my old, one of my older brother's birthdays is New Year's Eve. And my, one of my best friends in high school's birthday was Christmas Day. And both of them would always have a party in the summer because no one could deal with a, a birthday party at Christmas time and your, your friends are on, out of town or whatever. And so the idea of this like Christmas quinceanera made me think like, 
Do you always celebrate your birthday in December? Because I don't think people who actually have December birthdays do that, at least not when they're still in high school. I think they'll, they'll, they'll throw it in July or August and just sort of like we all agree that we're doing this thing. And so I just wondered if it occurred to anybody that maybe a elaborate quinceanera with choreography and all the family and stuff that's involved in it, maybe not the week before Christmas would <laughs> yeah. be nice for people. Pretty I don't know. Forward. Yeah. 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 Well, I mean, they make the point of saying when they decide to be together, we'll work it out, which always is the begs the question like, will you now? This is fascinating. Yeah. <laughs> How's that going to happen? But my bigger question is, is that um, Abuela has a special tequila and she broke it out one evening. And apparently once she breaks it out once, that means it's fair game all the time. That's the best I can figure. But she, while they're eating dinner, drinks her tequila from a shot glass still at dinner so like she just kind of sips on it a little ounce and a half sip i've never seen that before i didn't know i, I want to know if that's the thing or do we pour it in an actual glass when we're at dinner and not at sharkies doing shooters like <laughs> which is it i just I, I can't imagine a latin grandma just doing some little sips out of the little shot glass i i, I couldn't get over that i like we don't have a bigger Bigger glass for her to like. And it's the it's the way of her people, but we don't really know who her people are. That's right. We don't. So. Yes, it is the way of the anyone that makes a tamale. That's, That's right. what it is. Exactly, exactly right. <laughs> yeah. Uh, we did, everybody. Congratulations. What a wonderful time this was. We are off next Monday because we have a thousand Hallmark movies to put out next week. We will be back the first weekend of December with The Noel Diary. Oh. The Noel mm. Diary. Uh, take a look, read it, and then watch the movie. I don't know. If it's We're doing Christmas Story <laughs> at some point. That came out this week. Uh, I don't think it's on the list for this year, but it is on the list for soon. Okay, on the list yeah. for soon. But not, not for this year. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, we'll be back then. Until then, <laughs> we were the first to wish you a Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Take the homework is the That Sounds Fun podcast. It's produced by Tracy Noah's name. It's recorded live in, yeah, that Greenville, South Carolina. For more information on Deck the Homework, you can go to deckthehomework.com. You're about to hear some ads that help keep the lights on here at the studio. Feel free to listen. Feel free to turn it off, whatever you want to. But either way, thanks so much for your support. There are so many how-tos in sports. How to swing a bat, how to catch a pass, how to putt, how to kick. With New Balance, there's only one way to run, your way. That's the best way and the only way. No need to look at him or her or them to figure it out. Just run on a track, a path, a street, or in a mall. Your choice. Running doesn't care where you're from or where you're headed. Running will take you exactly as you are. New Balance. Run your way.